Hello everyone, this is Amit. In this video, we are going to answer one of the questions that uh, Sean asked about the regular expression. Uh, this was uh, the previous video that I published about a week ago. And, and I thought it's a good question, so I thought of making a quick quick video out of it. Um, so we are going to use regular expression uh, for this. And here is the question that he asked. Uh, so he has uh, a text something like this, uh, B3. Uh, double colon four slash five and then he would like to change it to b3 the first to uh, text to be the same remove these uh, double colon and replace by this square bracket and then also remove this slash uh, into ending bracket dot five now i don't know all the details about it, but i'll give it a try uh, he also pointed out that four and five in this case can be not only just a single digit but multiple digits. Now you can do this uh, quite easily in regular expression and if you're familiar with regular expression there are multiple ways you can approach this particular problem. And so let me bring notepad plus <clears throat> plus and uh, actually I have already tried this so I'm going to keep this just in case but I'm going to build that uh, together and we'll see how it works. <clears throat> right okay so here is a uh, just a quick uh, test a sample that I have created so I just copied the text that he had uh, but but as he mentioned that this could be you know two or three digits uh, these four and five so I added some two digit numbers here as you can see here I added two digit for the fives three digits two digits and so on and we want to see if I can actually use regular expression to accomplish all of these in a one single uh, step now, in order to use uh, regular expression, you do control F or a search and then make sure that regular expression mode, search mode is enabled. Okay, and let's go to replace and we'll just start to build uh, this regular expression. By the way, if you have more questions regarding a similar kind of a thing, please feel free to contact me or comment uh, and I'll try to respond to you as, uh, as soon as possible. And also check out my uh, channel page and if you like the content, please subscribe to my channel. And so here, first of all, we want to start with B3, right? And then double colon, which we will eventually get rid of. And now we want to find out what is this digit, right? And so here is how I can do, I can create a parenthesis, which will create a, I think, placeholder uh, for the lack of better word. And then a square bracket. Now this square bracket has a meaning it's just meant to describe the range. So I'm going to say any number from 0 hyphen 9, which means 0 to 9. And then this could be 1, 2, or 3 digit, right? And so you can use curly bracket and you can specify 1, comma 3. Uh, basically, that means that this particular digit, which is either 0 to, you know, 0, 1, 2, 3, up to 9, uh, and it could be 1, 2, or 3 digit, okay? So that is our first placeholder. Uh, and then we are going to use this, trying to find this uh, slash. So in order to use slash, you have to escape it because it has a specific meaning uh, for regular expression. In our case, uh, it is just uh, a literal slash. So in order to escape, you do the other one. I always get confused between, between forward and backslash. So you guys make that judgment. So we are halfway through but let's quickly test let's see if it actually even works so you can see actually it is able to pick these let's see if there are more than one digit so i'll go next and you can see it is picking all of those including the the three digit as well so we are doing good so far now the next number is similar to what we have already done so i can build it or i can simply copy this right and so this is our second placeholder and now all we have to do is we want to replace it. And so I'm going to move this little bit so that you can see the question, hopefully. Yeah, right here. And then I'll move this. So you can see that he would like to change it to B3. So I'll do B3. And then he doesn't want this double colon, but instead he wants a square bracket. So I'll do square bracket. Now when you replace it, you don't have to escape that. Because if you remember, the square bracket has a special meaning for regular expression, but when you're replacing, it will always replace with the literal uh, symbol that you input in there. 
and then the first is the first digit and so that is the first placeholder and in order to bring that you have to do slash one okay and that will bring whatever digit or whatever number it is uh, for the first uh, back reference basically and then I want to put uh, and bracket you can see right here we are right here uh, and square bracket and then slash and then forward slash two and that is the second uh, second reference <clears throat> so again it looks pretty complex but if you build it uh, it hopefully it'll make sense uh, and by the way you can always go back and refer to this video again so that you it makes sense to you so let's try it actually so I'll go all the way at the beginning and I'll do find and you can see it actually find the entire uh, string and then if I do replace it should remove this double colon it should put bracket uh, actually we forgot one more thing there's a dot after the square bracket so we should do that here um, it's actually dot here okay <clears throat> and so it should put a square bracket dot five so let's try replace and you can see it did actually exactly what he said so let's try the next one and that should work now next one is a little more tricky because there are two digit but it should still work and you can see it is working now here the second number is of two digit so that should also work and so on and if you're comfortable uh, with it then you can do replace all uh, I would recommend that you test your uh, string with uh, some sample code first and once you're comfortable then only apply to the whole thing uh, because if you don't test it enough it is possible that you may end up uh, you know changing st stuff that you didn't intend to and so make sure that you do a good good check so I'll do replace all and you can see all of the numbers I believe has uh, been replaced uh, like what what the user asks and so again there might be other uh, other cases that that he may have that he may have to you know deal with but hopefully this will give him a good starting point and so again as I said if you have a question about notepad plus plus or or uh, regular expression please feel free to ask and I'll try to respond to you as soon as possible alright this was a quick and short video so please bring your questions thank you very much bye